former state senator and Jacksonville native Betty Halsendorf, excuse me, will be laid to rest. So Halsendorf was a trailblazer and devoted public servant. She died on February 29th at the age of 84. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live from the church where the service will be held. Aaron, Halsendorf is being remembered as someone who was a fighter for those she represented. And a lot of people that we've spoken to since she passed away said that she loved this city and she loved helping as many people as she could. So all of those who will be coming here to this church, St. Paul Amy Church, later on today to celebrate her life, they said they will miss her dearly. Her services later on this morning here at the church. A leader and a fighter to make things better for as many people as possible in the community. That's the legacy Betty Holzendorf leaves behind. People paid their respects to Holzendorf on Sunday at the North Chapel of Sarah L. Carter's funeral home during a memorial and a viewing there. A longtime friend and former city council member Pat Lockett Felder was among those there who says Holzendorf was a trailblazer and an icon. Betty has always been a fighter for all the people. It mattered not to her if you were black or white. Betty wanted what was good for this city. Holzendorf grew up in Jacksonville. She earned degrees from then Edward Waters College, now Edward Waters University, UNF, and Atlanta University. Early in her career, she worked as an administrative aide to the late Jacksonville Mayor Jake Godbold. She went on to serve in the Florida House from 1988 to 1992, becoming the first black woman from Jacksonville to ever be elected to the Florida House of Representatives. She served in the Florida Senate from 1992 to 2002. Holzendorf also ran for Jacksonville mayor in 2003, but she lost. She was an advocate for helping seniors and getting funding for education. As a public servant, she was crazy about the senior citizens. Every, every year, Betty was there pretty much. She gave baskets for the senior citizens, fruit baskets. She would always give a little donation for them. And Betty did everything she could to make sure that she would take care of people in need. Holzendorf is being remembered as a loving wife, mother, and grandmother. Holzendorf's funeral is set to start at 11 o'clock this morning at St. Paul AME Church. She would then be buried at Jacksonville National Cemetery. And today, all flags in Florida will fly at half staff in honor of Betty Holzendorf. We're live this morning outside of St. Paul AME Church on New Kings Road. I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, the local station.